This video is a quick guide to what credit is, why you need it, and how you can get started building your own credit history. So what exactly is credit? It's basically a measure of how trustworthy and responsible you are with money. Some reasons to build credit is if you're considering buying a car in the future, you can actually get lower interest rates when financing a car. Same goes with getting your own place. When you're renting out an apartment, you can get a lower deposit amount if you have a better credit score. There are many ways to build credit, but among all of these, credit cards is one of the most easiest and accessible ways for beginners. So let's just go ahead and figure out what are some factors that make up a credit score and how you can quickly increase your score. So here are listed on the screen are all the factors that affect a credit score. But let's just focus on the first four since that's really what you have control over as a beginner. So payment history and derogatory marks go hand in hand. You want to make sure that you always pay off your debts in full. So what I like to do is set up auto payments on all of my credit cards so I never miss a payment. And in terms of revolving credit card utilization, that's how much credit that you use for the maximum amount of credit that you're given. So when you're starting out, you probably have a very low credit limit, so it's really easy to max it out. The trick here is that you want to treat it like a debit card, so you pay it off every week. That way, when the statement closes for the month, it would appear as if you didn't actually use that much credit. Keeping your percent utilization low will give you a higher credit score. And the final factor to consider is average age of accounts. Now this may seem a little bit strange to consider as a beginner since you'll probably only start out with one account in a very short credit history. But the way to easily increase this is actually to become what is called an authorized user. So you will ask somebody who has a nice long credit history, say your parents, to be added onto their credit card so their history will actually start showing up on your own credit profile. When I was added onto several credit cards of my parents, I saw my credit score jump by more than 50 points. So now that you know the basics of credit, you have to start out with a credit card of your own. For for me, it was to discover it for students. This was really great because I actually was able to earn a lot of cash back for on all of my purchases. So that means I'm actually earning money for owning a credit card. The other cards on the screen are also okay, but the one I would absolutely tell you to avoid is anything by Credit One. They make you basically to pay to own a credit card, which you definitely don't have to do even as a beginner. Thanks for watching this video and for more life tips, including a full video on the Discover It card for students, check out my YouTube channel, Skyforce95.